Hope you didn't God, Jeremy. Oh, come on, Marcus, please. Come on, man. Come on. If you have any last minute prayers, say them now. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Hello, man. Hello. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? <laughs> Having a good day? Hello, Dylan. How you doing? What's up, Officer Gold? How you been, man? You catch any bad guys lately? <laughs> nope. Swan little scoundrel. What are you doing out? Where's your brother, Marcus? I don't see him anywhere. He's at home. He got into trouble with my mom and he's not allowed out of the house anymore. Is that right? Huh. He also told me to tell you that he doesn't want to work for you anymore. He said that? Yup. So, uh, I decided I'm going to take his job. <laughs> you want to come work for me? Yup. <laughs> How old are you, kid? 13. I'll be 14 next month. Damn it. You're getting younger and younger every year. Come here. What do you think? I'm wearing a wire? Did I say that? God damn. So he said he doesn't want to do this anymore, huh? So, what do you think? Can I get a chance? Come on, I'm a freshman in high school now. I have tons of customers we can sell to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, man, chill. Where you at? Where are you running from, man? Don't you know it's a bad idea to run from a cop? You're no cop, man. You're a bully and you're a criminal. Oh yeah? You got proof for that? Huh? You got proof for that? That's what I thought. Now, Jeremy, where is my money? I'm telling you, uh, I don't have it. I just picked up a big load from Fabian's people. I gotta get this load up from here, and then I'll pay you in full. Ah, <laughs> Jeremy. Huh? What's that, huh? What is this? Hey, man. That is my personal stash. That is for operating transactions with clients. Don't touch the business pile, man. Uh. What do we got here, Jeremy? Huh? What's this? You signing pills now? Yeah, man. I told you about this. You shipped in from Cambodia. Strong. Hit real hard. Send you to a planet of euphoria. Woo! <laughs> it's 60 bucks a pop. I got 100 in there. Ten bags of those to get off out and onto the street. You do the math. <laughs> 60. And who are you selling to, huh? Junkies like yourself? Mm. No, man. It's a young person's drug. Party drug. High school kids are eating it up like vitamins. Dangerous. Mm. Extremely addictive. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna come work for me, you gotta be all in or not at all. Do you understand that? And if in the event you ever get caught, you keep your mouth shut. You don't say a thing. Do you understand that? You just let things sort themselves out and I'll be the one that's gonna come get you out. Got that? You understand that? Yeah. Don't get caught. I got ready to make a lot of money. What you're watching is real. Officer Gold is selling drugs to kids and he's using 13 year old Dylan to peddle his drugs around the neighborhood. He's been doing this for years. He goes into urban neighborhoods and finds kids desperate to make money and turns them into criminals. Dylan on the other hand doesn't really know the true degree of what he's doing. He is poisoning his own neighborhood, his community, his family and his friends. 
It's easy for a young boy his age to be blindsided because the money is coming in so fast that he doesn't really recognize the true consequences of what he's doing. Now this all came crashing down one day when Dylan's older brother Marcus found Dylan's stash hiding inside his room. Hey Dill. All right, mom, sounds good. Can you explain this? What are you doing in my room? I said, can you explain this? What are you doing in my room, Marcus? Get out! Are you sounding now? No, I'm not. Now get out of my room! Oh, so you're using? You don't know what I'm doing. Is this... Is this from Officer Gold? Listen to me, Dylan. He's an evil man. He's not your friend. Now tell me you're not selling. Tell me you're not selling. Something funny? He told me you'd be like this. He told me you'd get jealous. Just because you're afraid of being a man doesn't mean that I'm afraid. Now get out of my room. Hey, leave my brother out of this. Excuse me? You heard me. Leave him out of this. Well, it's nice to see you too, Marcus. How you doing, my man? I don't want him involved in anything you're doing. Stay away from me. Hey! You don't come barking orders at me, you little turd. I'm the one who tells people what to do around here. Now, I'm not holding your little brother captive, Marcus. If he wants to leave, he can. Whenever he feels like it. Don't be jealous, Marcus. He's not a little sissy like you are. Now get out of here before I arrest you. Get out! Anything happens, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck, Marcus. <laughs> Hey, 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 Dylan. 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 Mom! Dylan, stop. Don't do this to me. Not to me, not to me. Dylan, Dylan. Mom! Dylan, Dylan. Just wake up. Stop playing. It's stop. Stop. This is a joke. Stop. Mom! Hurry! Yo. Marcus. Jeremy? What are you doing? Oh, I'm hiding from you know who. Hey, listen, man. Um, I'm really sorry about your brother. Uh, he's so young. If I would known he was gonna use him to sell for him, I never would have done it. You were the one providing those drugs? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm sorry, I may be a drug addict, but I'm not a monster. I'm not, I'm not out here to hurt kids, man. I, I, I told him 18 and up. Hey, he wouldn't listen to me. He's a lunatic. You killed him! Yeah, I'm sorry, man. It wasn't me, I swear to God. This is your fault it's happening. Get on your knees. Come on, Marcus, please. No, I'm sorry, man, please. I no. said get on your knees! Come on, Marcus, no, please, come on, man, please, come on. Oh, please, come on, man, please. Do you believe in God, Jeremy? Oh, come on, Marcus, please, come on, man. Come on. If you have any last minute prayers, say them now. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Whoa! There he comes, ladies and gentlemen. The man of the hour. I told you if anything <laughs> happened, I would come after you. Oh yeah? What does that mean? You killed my brother. You have to pay. I didn't kill your brother, Marcus. He brought that upon himself. Hey, 
It's not my fault you didn't teach him how not to be an idiot in this game. He's not an idiot, he was 13 years old. He was just a child. Hey, Marcus. I'm not the one to put the drugs up to his mouth and make him take it. What are you gonna do with that, Marcus? Oh. You think you're the only big shot in town with a gun, huh? You think I've never stared down the barrel before? That doesn't scare me, Marcus. Well, here we are. Opportunity presents itself again. What are you gonna do, Marcus? Huh? You gonna shoot a cop in broad daylight? Go to prison for life? Leave him on behind with not one, but no sons behind? Go for it, Marcus. Let's see if you can draw faster. Go for it. That's what I thought. You're not an idiot like your little brother. You know you have your whole life ahead of you. Yeah, but I don't. Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah, he's right, kid. You got your whole life ahead of you. I'm not gonna let you throw it away on this loser. You shoot him, he wins. Me? Me, on the other hand? I've already wasted my life. So go on, get out of here, Marcus. Go on home. Marcus. Marcus. Jeremy, buddy, what are you doing? I'm putting an end to this. Buddy. Marcus, go on, get out of here. Your Don't brother do this, would Jeremy. do the same for you. Don't do this, Jeremy. <laughs> Marcus. Marcus. Marcus! We're not done with this, Marcus. This ain't over, Marcus! 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 I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.